on this channel, I talk about whatever I fucking want. And this is why Tucker Carlson is the reason Fox News executives are still letting spread baseless claims about everything, including the January 6th insurrection, which is based on the 2020 stolen election fraud conspiracy. NBC News reported the story about Tark Carlson and MAGA Republican Trump supporters were whining on Twitter to one of America's trusted historic television news media outlets. I'll read to you what NBC News reported and then debunking the tweets wrongfully criticizing NBC News. Vote with the reply button. Ratio the ever-loving shit out of NBC News. Don't let them gaslight their sheep. First of all, clandestine Farm animals can't read. A sheep is a farm animal, not a human being. It's impossible to glass light an animal when a sheep only eats and sleeps in a farm. Now, if you could have said, don't let them gaslight like their viewers instead, your sense would have been proper. Oh, by the way, NBC News never gaslights an animal, and they never gaslight a human. This is why Joe Rogan gets more views than NBC News. Nope, sorry, but NBC News has. 5 billion views on YouTube and Joe Rogan only has 2 billion views. So NBC News live newly released video provided to Tucker Carlson by Speaker McCarthy falsely portrays the January 6th protest as an insurrection. Fixed it for you, Hex. No, Emilio2763, you're wrong. The title se- still says Tucker Carlson, the video provided by Speaker McCarthy falsely depicts January 6th riot as a peaceful gathering because it isn't a peaceful gathering. Breaking down windows. Kicking the door open. And trashing the entire Capitol building is not a peaceful gathering. So you can keep lying on Twitter all you want. You have the freedom to do so. But at the end of the day, the facts don't care about your feelings. NBC News should be so embarrassed right now. NBC The only one who should be embarrassed is you because you keep perpetuating Donald Trump's lies. 
and deep down, you're a sad woman who's need who's in need of serious help. NBC News was worried they had some credibility left, so they provided us with this tweet. Well, look at you. You're nobody because you literally have nobody ask your display name on Twitter. No, not your username. I'm talking about the one under your username. Because you're a pathetic excuse for a human being who undermines factual journalism reporting because you only watch Tucker Carlson who ain't a real journalist. He is a joke. And you have no credibility at all because you don't want the facts. You want the misinformation. Human nature strikes again. When liars are caught lying, they double down and lie even more. Yes, I'm talking to you, NBC News. Hashtag insurrection my ass. Actually, Jeff Rose, it is you who is a liar. You're the one who has been caught lying by association as many times more than you realize because you doubled down on your lies by saying that the hashtag that you put that you think it was not an insurrection, but it is an insurrection. Moreover, NBC News are not the liars. Justin, NBC News continues to promote the false and dividing narrative that January 6th was an insurrection. Little Greek, you don't actually know the first thing about journalism, and it's that you should report a story accurately, which is what NBC News does. Fox News, on the other hand, has a dividing narrative every day at 8 p.m. because Tucker Carlson is so uneducated that he doesn't really do the work of being a journalist, but does the work of being a fascist narcissist by speaking his unfactual opinion as a commentator. That's all what Tucker Carlson does. If you ever wonder why the Joe Rogan podcast has 10 times the amount of viewers than NBC News does, your false and misleading statement is the answer. You people don't report news, you are pushing an agenda. Now the end begins. You're incredibly wrong. NBC News doesn't have an agenda at all. The only person who spreads lies and misinformation daily on Fox News Channel is Tucker Carlson. Because Tucker Swanson McNear Carlson has an agenda to spin the narrative of ratings at the Fox News Channel. Because if Tucker Carlson actually told the truth, he would lose viewers, so he needs all he needs to do is to lie to the American public to save face, even though the Fox News channel is already gearing up to be sued for lying to their viewers after they gave themselves a projection that Joe Biden won the 2020 presidential election. Now, I'll read the whole story of what people were criticizing NBC News for. 
Fox News host Tucker Carlson on Monday released a security video from January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol using footage provided exclusively to him by Speaker Kevin McCarthy to portray the riot as a peaceful gathering. Carlson acquired the tapes as part of a push by McCarthy to win the Speaker's gavel. When McCarthy was struggling to gather the votes to lead the House, Carlson used his program to list two concessions he could make to win over far right Republicans. First, release the January 6 files. Not some of the January 6 files and video, all of it, Carlson, the most watched. Post on cable news said after McCarthy faced three failed votes, so that the rest of us can finally know what actually happened on January 6, 2020. Kevin McCarthy, the most unpopular Republican, old as wearing thin politi politician who spoke his words on the January 6th insurrection is to blame for giving Fox News the tapes. In the two months since McCarthy won the gavel, he has granted both. Carlson announced in late February that McCarthy had given him exclusive access to 44,000 hours of security video from the deadly ride before he unveiled some clips of the video on his show Monday night. Carlson focused Monday segment on promoting former President Donald Trump's narrative by showing video of his supporters walking calmly around the U.S. Capitol. He asserted that other media accounts lied about the attack, proclaiming that while there were some bad apples, most of the rioters were peaceful and calling them sightseers, not insurrectionists. The footage does not show an insurrection or a riot in progress, Carlson told his audience Monday. Instead, it shows police escorting people through the building, including the now infamous QAnon shaman. Tucker will continue to keep lying to his viewers because Trump supporters are not sightseers. They're insurrectionists. He continued more than 44,000 hours of surveillance footage for, from in and around the Capitol have been withheld from the public. And once you see the video, you understand why. Taken as a whole, the video does not support the claim that January 6 was an insurrection. In fact, it demolishes that claim. No, Tucker Carlson, your theory does not demolish the claim that it was an insurrection because it is an insurrection. Many of our po American politicians all say that it is an insurrection. So you cannot disagree with all of them. Based on your theory, conspiracy theory, that is, on what you claim that it wasn't, you don't have the proof that it wasn't an insurrection. We all have the proof. We all see the proof. Clearly, you've forgotten that. Video that Carlson didn't air shows police and rioters engaged in hours of violent combat. Nearly 1,000 people have been charged in connection with the Capitol attack. About 140 officers are, were assaulted that day. And about 326 people have been charged with assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers or employees, including 106 
assaults that happen with deadly or dangerous weapons. About 60 people pleaded guilty to assaulting law enforcement. Two pipe bombs were also planted nearby, but were not detonated. That's exactly right. Nearly 1,000 people were charged for attacking 140 capital officers and 326 people were charged for resisting arrest and assaulting officers and 60 people so far have been guilty of assaulting law enforcement, which is something you should never do as an American citizen. But if you're a Trump supporter who you get to break all the laws as you please. Because that's what being an American patriot is all about, right? Carlson also said on his show Monday that Democrats lied about the death of Capitol Officer Brian Sicknick. He played video that he said showed Sicknick walking around inside the Capitol after the mob attacked him. They knew he was not murdered by the mob, but they claimed it anyway, he said. You know, Google isn't inaccurate as some people may have claimed because they don't like Google. Clearly, it says that he died on January 7th, the day after his duty to save the people of the Capitol and to stop those who we're going over there to terrorize it. At approximately 9.30 p.m. this evening, which was back in January 7th, 2021, United States Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick passed away due to injuries sustained while on duty. So, therefore, Tucker Carlson is again wrong because he did die a day after January 6th. And if you don't think that the official United States Capitol Police government website is accurate, you're dead wrong because this is the official website that said that he passed away from this. The USCP accepts the findings from the District of Columbia's Office of the Chief Medical Examiner that Officer Brian Technic died of natural causes. Therefore, he, he is gone, and Tucker Carlson should not have even lied about him not being dead. Officer Brian Sicknick's family knew that he died because they were told by the Capitol Police themselves. And Tucker Carlson didn't have the knowledge of meeting the Sicknick family because he was too afraid that not lying would cost him viewers he is such a disgrace for lying about Brian Sicknick's death like that had he actually gone to the Sicknick family and asked these questions then he would have realized that he actually died but he didn't because he was too much a coward to go to Brian Sicknick's family in person.
Sicknick died of natural causes on January 7th, the day after he engaged with rioters outside the Capitol. An autopsy report determined that he died of a stroke at the base of the brainstem caused by a blood clot. Capitol Police have Sicknick returned to his office after the riot and collapsed. Two men were arrested in the assault on Sicknick were sentenced in connection to their actions on January 6th. One admitted to spraying Sicknick with a bit of chemical irritant during the melee, and the other pled guilty to two misdemeanors in a deal with the government. Sicknick's family has contended that the fighting with the writers have contributed directly to a stroke. McCarthy's controversial decision to hand over Jeremy Six video to Carlson is a new twist for one of the most scrutinized events in American history, which has produced countless hours of social media video, a sweeping Justice Department criminal investigation, and a House Select Committee probe, and a bipartisan impeachment of then President Donald Trump alleging incitement of insurrection. The video's release after two years on Fox News in prime time highlights the influence of Carson, who has downplayed and one conspiracy theories about January 6th and the far and the far right over the new slim. And I wish I can make a one-hour video debunking more of Tucker Carlson's false claims, but Canva has a download minute that will only let you make a video that's less than 30 minutes but if you're more but you're more than welcome to read the whole article about Carlson from NBC News yourself oh and Tucker Carlson I hope you get fired soon because you don't deserve to be on TV Ever.